we've been watching the intensity of the storm and Jason, it has been fluctuating. Mm -hmm. So why is that happening? Yeah, so this has actually been happening because of a natural phenomenon that does occur with hurricanes as their life cycle prolongs and it's called the eye wall replacement cycle. Now what this basically is in the center of the hurricane you have the eye but outlining the eye is the eye wall made of a bunch of thunderstorms a ring of thunderstorms and as time goes on occasionally you'll get an outer ring of thunderstorms that begins to develop and when this happens the storm begins to grow a little bit and eventually the inner ring of the original thunderstorms get suffocated a little bit by the new ring and you start to have a new eye form. And this is what has been happening with Hurricane Milton. So this is the satellite from eight o'clock when it was at its peak strength with the 180 mile an hour sustained winds. Look how small that eye is. That's a pinhole. It was only about five miles across. And then over the last uh, 18 hours or so, we can look at the transformation. You can see it closing up completely. And then this afternoon, it emerges to that brand new eye that is much wider, about 15 miles across. So it grew by about 200%. But what does this pertain to the forecast itself? Well, the wind field is basically 150 miles across right now. The yellow outline is tropical storm force winds. As we go forward in time and as it's approaching landfall, we can see the wind field ballooning. And that is going to continue to happen as we see it uh, go through these eye wall replacement cycles. And then also as it interacts with a little bit more of that wind shear, that's going to start to pull apart the storm a little bit. And that's going to lead to wider impacts when it comes to some of the stronger wind gusts associated with the storm.